I'm Mike Namari, the information architect for IBM Messaging, and I'm with Ben Bukowski. Hi there. And Brian. Howdy. Hey. Hi, Brian. And we're going to talk about IBM and message sites for developers. So I guess the first question to ask is this. What's IBM message site? So IBM message site is an appliance to handle the, the explosion and growth that we're seeing in the mobile uh, messaging space around the Internet of Things and really the, the sheer number of devices that are trying to connect to each other now and interact and do messaging. So where IBM MetaSite fits is it provides a very robust, resilient and highly performant messaging appliance that enables uh, hundreds of thousands and millions of devices to connect and communicate with each other. And I think some of the key features are that it's very, very easy to use. Um, you can unpack it, get it up and running in under 30 minutes, and real and get real value out of it exceptionally quickly. Exceptionally quickly. Uh, it is DMZ ready, which means that it comes uh, secured, so you don't need to worry about very complicated and expensive security or other products to work with it. So really, you can treat it as an out-of-the-box messaging appliance very, very fast. Genius. What would be kind of a, a typical application that might use that? So there's, there's a, a couple of sort of good use cases that um, have sort of hit the zeitgeist at the moment. Um, some sorts of things where we see message site playing a really important role are in um, the, the Internet of Things. So if you have a lot of um, devices out there publishing uh, information such as energy meters, how do you connect those uh, devices into your enterprise? Now, MetaSite, because of its scale and connectivity, is that portal. All of those devices can connect into that, and from then you can um, uh, understand what the messaging, uh, or take business decisions based on that messaging. Awesome. So we've talked about MetaSite, IBM MetaSite. So we've got IBM MetaSite for developers. What's the difference between the two? So MetaSite itself is an appliance. So there's obviously uh, a bit of, bit of a barrier getting hold of that and exploring it. Um, what we want to try and do is provide a way for people to experience the capabilities of MetaSite very, very quickly without having to order a physical appliance and go through the, the process of, of uh, having the, the hardware and the networking to support that. This is where the virtual appliance comes in. Awesome. So it's a virtual appliance, and can you just download it and run it on, say, VMware or VirtualBox? Or... That's right. It comes as a virtual machine. Um, you can run it on your own laptop, typically. Uh, you'll get the full flavor, the full configuration of what MetaSite offers. But of course, because it's a virtual machine, you don't get some of the, uh, the, the real benefits that the real appliance gives you. So you won't have the very large performance, the very large scale that MetaSite offers, right. and also we don't offer some of the, the high availability uh, capabilities that the, the physical appliance offers. I understand. So really it's there as an accessible consumable way for developers and testers to, to, to bring down a, uh, a portable IBM MetaSite uh, virtual appliance and to code against it and test against it in a very portable way. That's right. So we, we, we'd love people to uh, download the appliance, try it out. You can write your own MQTT applications. So for those of you who don't know, MQTT is the lightweight protocol. That's very good for uh, the sorts of scenarios that MetaSite is about. It's a very lightweight protocol, um, cheap for devices such as uh, energy meters or even mobile phones to connect in to the appliance. So you can write your applications quickly. You can see how those plug into uh, a message site environment. You can play around with some of the security options and see how you could take that to a, a real production environment and scale it to hundreds of thousands of devices. Wow. And so you can download it for free off our blog on the IBM messaging community. Absolutely, yeah. Which is awesome. And we'll put that link into the notes under the video. So now I'm going to introduce Brian because Brian has developed an awesome application that you can play with without doing anything at all, which gives you a great taste for it, but also he provided the samples as well, so you can run it. So once you've downloaded IBM uh, MetaSite for developers, you can then get the samples, 
put them together and run it against um, your virtual appliance. Brian, do you want to talk us through it? Sure, absolutely. So, uh, so I released a sample called Auto Remote, which is basically a key fob application, uh, web application that uses uh, MQTT pub sub messaging to control some basic functions on a simulated car. Uh, so this uses message side for communication and the WebSocket JavaScript MQTT library that we also have available uh, in the mobile messaging client pack. And uh, speaking as a full-time sample developer for Message Site, it is so fun to work with the developer VM. Uh, it's really easy to set up and run, and out of the box, it comes with a sample endpoint you can start messaging with right away. So uh, this application I wrote in about an hour, the basic function, just to do the communication between two separate apps uh, to control the car. Everything after that was just window dressing. So it's amazingly easy to get test prototypes up and running, super fun to work with. Uh, so my goal with the sample, uh, there's more info in the blog about it, but was to give developers uh, a starting point to expand on an application that has communication between two web apps. Um, so you can, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. I encourage people to take the sample and extend it out to uh, um, add more buttons, more options for the car, maybe even have some options configured to drive a car around some sort of racetrack or something. Uh, but really, just go check out the sample. It's really fun, really fun to work with. Nice, good stuff. So I'm looking forward to see what people come up with. Awesome. So on, on the blog, I know that as well, that Brian, you created uh, two videos. One, uh, could, could you talk us through both of those and, what, what, and why there's two? Sure, absolutely. So the application uh, gives you control over how you sign in to the different MQTT clients. Um, you can do it without any authentication at all and control the cars. You can add authentication. It all depends on how you've configured message site to support the app. Uh, so the two videos walk through first, configuring a hub and endpoint from scratch on message site to, uh, to foster communication between the car and the remote. And the second video adds an authentication layer using message sites, LDAP, messaging users and groups. So the two videos walk you through taking a very simple application that's unsecure powering it through message site and adding a layer of authentication to secure your application. Fantastic, buddy. OK, so um, any last words or thoughts for guys before we sign off? I think the advice we give to echo Brian's comments, give it a go, have some fun, see how easy it is to use and configure. Yeah, and also as well, feel free to comment on the blog, um, put your thoughts on there, and, and we'll respond to you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for listening. And thank you, guys. Thanks, Cheers, Thanks buddy. guys. Cheers, Brian. Cheers.